mean, oh, no, he, he is doing kinda, better. No, he twice. is doing. No, he is, yeah. Bolty's struggling on food and wood, actually. I wonder why. Is that just, like, bad native use? Not bad. I feel but, like, like maybe he overcommit too many genres. What's up, boys and girls? How you all doing? We are finally here in the final series of the Flash tournament hosted by Rod Lero. I think I've mentioned this more than enough, but the tournament had a prize pool of $20 just for the winner. So whoever wins this match will be getting the $20 and this will be an interesting series the bands for these series will uh, was Sweden and Ottoman and the first game is being played on Upper Andes second game on Orinoco aka Orinoco and then the final game of the series will be on Upper Andes again so here we got a French mirror. This will be an interesting matchup. Both of these players are very strong. They are very good. I would say the <clears throat> sorry, the game is more favored toward Zyveria because he's better in map plays. He plays the map much better, and he's a very good heads up player. He's known as the Kovrin lover and over an enjoyer as well so both of these players are very good very strong the only downside is we will not be able to see the text but considering the yeah the rate of the villagers we can say that they both have taken hunting dogs and now they both sending eco theory Diveria is not sending it yet. Interesting. I'm pretty sure he's occupied doing something. There is no way he sent the card late. Anyway, now he's getting the placer mines. Maybe he have forgotten to send the eco theory. He's getting washed. But we'll see. It's already been played. Yes, Fedi. It's already played. If Walty win, I will give sub I will give five subs. Okay. We'll see. I also do not know the outcome of the match. So I s told them to not spoil the results for me. So I have no clue what will be happening. Okay. So this will be an interesting match. Let's check Zyveria's deck. Why am I on Walty? Okay, so pretty standard. He's not going for the bourbon. I've mentioned before. I feel like bourbons are very strong in a 1v1. Either the overpop card for H4 or the H1 card, which enables you to train them because the overpop is well it's an overpop you will have a lot of units and they are very strong and at the same time the card which enables them to be trained firstly the units are very strong to be trained very cost effective really good stats and considering you will have native warriors and so many native cards their stats are juicy and also at the same time they will be getting not they will you will have the access to the xp tech which you will have so many cards that you can send before 40 which is really good in a 1v1 because what you want to think about french is you will have that massive power spike at the 40, and then you can just do so much with it. 
Can I sit in there with you? Of course you can, Fady Wild. Okay. Obviously, I asked me to kill his fax on Orinoco. He said he's gonna build it near on purpose. Wait, how come we can see their chat? And inside the live games, we cannot see their chat. Okay, Fady, you know where to go. Sixty minute ad, okay, it is indeed. Well, you can sub, cozy. You can use some of Putin's budget. All right, there soon. No worries. Okay, so back to Zyveria's deck. Um. So yeah, regarding the Bourbons, I've said it enough. I'm not gonna repeat myself. Actually, let me check something. Yeah, no, um, other than that, his deck is pretty standard, does not have the H2 Plantation card, but do have all the Gendarme cards and all the unit combat and upgrade cards, which is necessary for French. As I've said, French is more like a power spike civilization, so you, you will have that power spike at 40, and... If you will not have the H2 plantation parts, in a long run, obviously it will hurt you, but most of the time you will not reach to that spot or you will just try to deal with that low coin situation. Because at the end of the day, that card is still 20% gather rate for the gold on the plantation, so it's a really strong card. And he does have both Gendarme cost reduction and also artillery damage card. Let's check Voltigeur's deck. Going for the exact same deck at Zyveria. Other than the fact that he's not using artillery damage and instead going with the Bourbon Overpop. So, the trick with this card is, once you hit H4, you will be able to send this card once, and then after you go post-imperial, you will be able to send this card again. So, this makes the card to be sent twice, so that's 50 pop of Imperial Bourbon Musketeers. They are amazing units, and on top of that, you will also have 21 Bourbons which you will get from this card and also from your Age Up to Imperial. And also since you're aging up to Imperial with the Bourbons, they will be getting the Veteran and Guard upgrade automatically with the Age Up. So that's why it's a really, really strong card and combination in a 1v1 and sometimes in a 2v2 if the map is small. So... Other than that, the deck is pretty standard, and he got all the necessary cards that he needs. And looks like Volti is ahead by the church, and Ziv do not have the church yet. Hunt's here. Oh, imagine if he pulls his hunt. Wait, is that really for him? Okay, one. Two, three, uh, four. Okay, yeah, that's no one. That's for him, really. Let's check if Volti scouted this. Yeah, okay, he knows. And Ziv also scouted all the hunts that are his side. Why did he? Oh, okay. For a second, I thought that's Volti's village. I was like, why is he? Going all the way there to hit it for him. Just let him do the job himself. Off sub should cover Twitch. Yeah. You should sub, Pussy. You should. I'm kidding, man. Anyways. So, the start fight for Volti will be very very strong and that's a massive score gap actually between Volti and Ziv. Uh, one of the reasons is for the trade-off of the church. Uh, I'm not 
sure if Ziv got any big treasure inside the map this game or not, but building the church is 150 wood and obviously delays your third TC. So that's why he's slightly ahead, but building the church early is very necessary for this build that Volti have in mind because the earlier you build the church, the earlier you will be able to have the cards and also overall you will have between one to two card advantage. I mean, depends on how late Ziv built his church, so we'll see. I mean, considering this, probably Ziv will be building his church post-Imperial. That's what he usually does, and... That should give Volti at least one card advantage. Of course, there are treasures also involved. The amount of treasure guardians that you kill also provides you the XP. So usually when you go for such a deck that is card heavy, you will you would need to look and hunt for those XPs. Alright, so you get three cars, that should be more than enough, but the thing is he has to gather 1k coin and put extra wills on coin while he's transitioning to Imperial. And he has to time it right so he won't be missing the Bourbon Musketeers. Can we stand me? Yes. Yes, sir, I can. Give me a second, Fed. Hello, big boy. Hello, you. Okay. You will just go side by side with me. I send you on Discord. Okay, don't go forward and don't go backward. Don't look at other games. No spoilers, so we will know what's happening. Of course, of course, of course. Yes. Right. Deleted. Back to the game. Who do you reckon gonna smash this game fight? I haven't really looked at the decks. I mean, it's the same deck. But okay. Walti got the Bourbon over Pop card. Uh, oh, from Ziv. What? Who, who's got that Ziv? No, Walti. Ziv got Artillery Damage card. So Walti has a good start, Ziv has better late. Yeah. Slightly better late. Yeah. Not just better late, actually. I don't know, because these guys are so good that it's just going to come. I feel like it's less mechanical and more decision-making who's going to win this. Like, yeah, definitely. Like, who's going to have the better strat? It's probably going to come down to splits, right? No yeah, doubt. definitely. That's what I was also talking about earlier. Like, Ziv is a better map player compared yeah. to Volti. Volti, I don't know, maybe Volti will be better than Ziv in a heads up, but probably it won't be that far off. But in a map plays, Ziv is definitely better than Volti. Yeah, Ziv's I've seen out. decent amount of weakness in Volti's split games. Yeah, like Ziv, Ziv has done some god plays in the past, in previous yeah. tournaments. Like, remember when Nick... What was it? I remember Ziv was playing Spain and Nick, for some reason, built... I can't remember why he did it, but he built his entire FB outside of his main base. Do you remember that uh, tournament? Yeah. And then Ziv just... He lined up on Cliff, like, standard on Andes, and then he moved his entire army, like, last second, and then took yeah. out all of his FB, and then Nick was just screwed. He couldn't go anywhere. Yeah, exactly. Which is base locked. Yeah. 
So Ziv has like some 200 IQ plays for sure. Like he, he knows how to win. Yeah, definitely. I'm not sure if the overpop... I feel like when you do the... Like, this is obviously I'm not anywhere near these guys level, but I feel like when you take that overpop card, uh -huh. you should do it when you mirror the other guy. When the other guy takes it, then you take it, I feel like. Um, do you not feel the same? No, actually, it's just how you use your overpop. I know it's how you use it, but like... Because oh, it, it wouldn't really matter if the other side have it or not. If if he does not have it, and you have it in a 1v1, obviously you, you will have the advantage. Like, that's the whole idea I came out with this whole overpop thing with Inca. And then just transition into other things. I don't know if you remember or not, I did it in a tournament game at first. On Inca, I did a fat overpop with the two P's and the Jesuits. I mean, I've done that before, but showed it in a tournament. Oh, I, I feel I feel like you can like when as soon as the other guy picks that deck, and we know what Ziv did to Mez. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're just prepared for it. I know it's a shit ton of overpop and like a big power spike. And it's going to be hard to deal with. Uh huh. But you can play against that. Like you're prepared for it now, right? I don't know. I feel like I feel like Ziv, because like, oh, what do you need to counter that, right? Like they're going to be split. They're going to be used in a split, right? There wouldn't be any point in using it in a mass because they're just going to get blasted by Horsa. I feel like. Yeah, you have to use it on split, and you have to use it nicely. Yeah, so like, or you just you try to that? use it in a big fight. Sorry, an oh, all in. Hold it. Oh, yeah, just all game. in. But the oh, all right, in usually it. doesn't work in upper end is because of the choke. I suppose like another thing that you could do is just literally hold them forever. Yeah, and just you can control the map with them. You don't actually have to pr like you could just use them to control the trade post line. Like yeah. the entire game. I, I don't know if anyone would have the patience for that, but I mean, that's quite a big advantage that you get from having like at least two trade posts always, all game. Like, yeah. It's interesting for sure. Covering. What? Ah! Uh, I didn't know. By the way, don't worry about those five. Okay, if you I'm, just want to stream and cast, okay, it's fine. I'm just going to, like, okay. This one final thing. If this doesn't work, then fuck it. Hello, gamers. Wait, what the fuck? Where is that from? Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, that's, that's ropey. ropey. Yeah. It's ropey! <laughs> oh my god. I thought it was a, um, yeah. thought it was a uh, sound clip yeah. or something. <laughs> a soundboard. Okay. <laughs> yes, I am, a, I am a living, breathing soundboard. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I do right. steal quotes from other people so many times that I do sometimes say, oh my god, I've become a soundboard of this other person. Nice. And you're proud of it? I can't believe this. Yes, I am proud of it, actually. Fair enough. Well, we all steal clips from each other, don't we? Not clips, but whenever someone says something. Yeah, that's a clip. I'm stealing that. Dramatic. Yeah. Okay, fair. You can use this. So what are we doing? We are casting a tournament game. Final game, actually. But oh. I've sent you. Did I uh, interrupt the recording? Uh, that's for you to say. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know I won't yes. say. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Hello, gamers. <laughs> 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 uh, Immersion what? breaker. Imagine. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Don't you worry. Alright, Fred, did you get it? I got those files okay. now, yeah. Back to the game. Alright, that's a wide base by Ziv, actually. Wait, what's well, the He's gonna be radius? preparing for this overpop, right? So it's interesting yeah. to see what he does. I mean, ideally, you want to just, like, build a bit behind your walls. 
Wait, that's his forward stable, actually. Okay. Do the Royal Musketeers have good siege? I'm assuming oh, yes. Um, not the best, but it's not bad either. No, it's not that good. Wait, where Walt is? Is he trying to like hide his musketeers, considering he have it inside his deck? <laughs> like, yeah, I just have it in the deck, but I'm not gonna use it. Maybe he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Oh, of course he knows. He will check. Imagine that. if decks were blind to everyone. That would be, that would be too nasty, actually. That would be too much. Let's see. Ziv is going for the 8 mil. Thank God. Walti is going for 8 or 7. 7. You see, but the other day you were arguing with me. What? I think, like, actually, Ziv made this extra one by accident. Probably he meant to build seven also, but he just built one extra by accident. Like, having extra middle to have seven on each wouldn't matter totally not if you're playing on, on a trading serve. And I still don't know why some people do it. I think, like, yeah, it's a little bit of a waste of resources. Ah, oh, Walt, you got a stuck like, field. Building a mill. But I, I just, I don't know. I feel like base space is just way more important. Yeah, of course. And especially in a 1v1. You do not want to have your base exposed. Walt, you get one real stuck inside the tree and a house. So I'm not sure if he will notice that. I doubt he does. I think he just shift click and the villager doesn't show as idle. Yeah. That's gonna be there for a while. Ziv is making shit ton of walls actually. How many is that? Five, two, seven inner sorry, two inner, five outer. What the That's uh very fat base setup. Walt is going one inner and probably five outer. I don't know, maybe even four outer, one inner. Considering he's leaving one more space. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so five outer, one inner. I can and... totally see Ziv, by the way. Mm hmm. Doing something wild. I can totally see him. Uh, I don't know if he's going to cut Nats or not, but I can totally see him setting up a trap for this split. To be fair, he sh considering he knows there is a bad overpop, he should not cut the natives. Wait, can you talk, Fred? Hello, 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 hello. Okay, never mind. Just That's wanted to double check. But yeah. Because, like, he could use just a minimal amount to defend that. Um, and then just trap Volti. Like, leave uh, his army in the base. Some of it. I mean, that's... And then just get rid of this overpop, like, as soon as he can. That native choke is actually pretty wide. It is. So, he cannot really leave the natives, because... If for a second he think that Volti will be sending all the royal muskets into Nats for a big push, then he will completely lose the Nats. Because that those, said, those yeah. units won't die easily. No, they're very good. And the charged attack is... I think, yeah. that's, I think that's the reason why they're so good, is because this, this charge attack, like... No, it's just not, it's not that. Their HP is very good. Their HP is good. They have 40% melee resist. Better than a Halbidir. So what do you... Do you change your cards order? Do you pump all your stats into natives first? After training cards? I mean, cards? Yeah. ideally you have to, yeah. I mean, definitely need the native combat. You need that 15% combat on those yeah. units. Like, how many is that? That's like 50... 23, that's 73 bourbon units. So. Yeah, it's totally worth. Yeah. 
But I was going to say, like, there is so on many the ones. flip side, Volk could go all in on one side, couldn't he? It's going to be like a right mind game. Yeah, he could. What I've seen from his games, based on the tournament and some games that I've seen him play 1v1, he just used those over pop to hold the middle and then just try to slowly push into the natives and then at the same time just spam wall in the map. Like just completely close the middle point. I mean the outer section of the map with the walls. But usually his walls have holes as well. One thing he does often. Why is that scout not showing as really invisible? I mean, that unit is on stealth. Wait, is it? Oh, no, my he's just on cover mode. Why? <laughs> okay. But yeah. I would say ideally Ziv wouldn't really want to chop the natives, at least for the start. And I, it doesn't seem like he's really chopping the natives. Spoiler, Ziv is a rat. I mean, yeah. he's he's gonna chop natives, right? I mean, how many wheels like you got? Seven wheels. I don't think he's just gonna randomly take off those wheels and most of the trees will be gone. Um, probably. Yeah, I think like probably by 40 all these trees are gone. Because like not that many and it's like 300 on each. So definitely will be chopped. I mean, technically speaking, he he already seen the the overpop of the musketeer with the scout. So he knows they are there. Technically, he can just go seven Orsark. With Halbidiers. So if Volti goes full Gendarme, Mortar, and the Bourbons, he will be able to stop the push easily. It's kind of hilarious how they both are going to know what each other are doing because of these native scouts. Like they've got five native scouts in each other's bases right yeah, now. Yeah, there is Actually, one Ziv, in... Ziv doesn't have all of them in the base, but. It's gonna uh, be so got obvious one next to the factories. He's scouting to see if he's gonna make heavy cannons or not, I suppose. And also at the same time, he wants to know what units will be going inside the base. And yeah, Volti actually also. Yeah, he also have one scout inside the base as well. Yeah, both of them are seeing what the other side is doing and how they are building their base. Eventually, they will kill the scout, obviously, because they've just built his tavern, by the way. Rip what all the point trickle. He aged up with the muskets as well. Let's see how much gold he's behind. So Ziv is behind by 700 gold. More or less. That's quite nice actually. 700 gold. We have. That's a gold crate. Weird, I can't see what mercs are in the map. Not that it matters, because no one's using them, but it would be nice to know. Oh, yeah. It doesn't even show the buildings inside the UI for the settlers. If it showed, we could just hover over and see the mercs. But we have, like, zero information. Wait, Ziv destroyed his market as well. He just got all the text and destroyed the market. He wants a clean base. That is a very nice looking base, though, I must say. Yeah. There is a weak point 
however, inside the native side. So if he get pushed in the natives, then that will be his doom. Because he just squeezed himself into the native side, into the cliff. And therefore he got like a lot of space on the outside. But at the same time, he does not really have that many military buildings outside. Just like one set of military building and that's it. I wonder if he's gonna build more or not. But Walty is yeah, just spamming walls everywhere. Oh my god, look at Walty trying to trap this scout. <laughs> yeah, I can see. Oh god. He's done and, it twice. Yeah, and Steve already moved it. That's a lot of walls, actually. How much is the front um, church tech again? The, what? the building increase? Uh, 25%. 25% for 10% eco. Okay, so walls are really nothing. Uh, I mean, still something. It's like one it's wood. Like, no, walls are seven now. It's two wood. I think. Wait, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it should be two wood. I think it's a nine. If I'm not mistaken. It would be nice to check the price. Ah, never mind. Teratine wood. That's... wow. What? Wait, what? Why is it teratine wood? Is this correct? Wait, walls... Know. Oh, wait. Walls are 10 wood now. That makes sense. We just sense. forget about these things, don't we? Yeah, like, players. I guess, yeah, we just didn't really pay that. I think there are seven wood for some reason. That's quite a lot. Yeah, ten wood. So that's three extra wood for each wall. And how much is the gate? 63. So the so gate is... 30% increase. No, 20%. Sorry, 25%. But since the game cannot show point halves, so it just round it as the next number. Did you get it? They actually deleted the scouts. Yeah, of course. They they agreed to it. Yeah. So we got seven point half minutes left into Trudy and both still holding their trades. I wonder if either side gonna trade late because trading late in this matchup is not what you want to do. What were I they saying? I, I knew I you weren't that them. desperate to get a win. Ziv said, "I am, but yeah." <laughs> oh god! I feel like Ziv is like a GF two point in a lot of ways. How so? Do you not think? Why is he... Why is he losing HP over the musket? Just send the scout. Bruh. You're losing HP on a unit that you're overpopping with? On your valuable unit? Okay, so tell me why you think Ziv is a Jif. I don't know, like, Ziv's a little bit of a troll. Yeah, he is sometimes. He's a bit of a troll, he's like really slippery, and he does like weird shit to win games. But it's not weird, it's like slippery. smart, it's like, yeah, like... <laughs> oh god, that was a good way to put it. Slippery. Like, you go against Ziv and you'll be like, and he'll do some weird shit with some weird unit that no one uses uh, no, to win games. The, I don't the... know. This is the whole point of playing the game. No, I know, I know, I know. But, I don't know, it's very GIF-like. Like, like <laughs> oh shit. There's like a million units at my uh, baseballs right now. God. But yeah, he, he does that. Alright. Five point and a half, still neither are trading. Score-wise, sorry, eco-wise. 
they've got flat 90k food. Okay, there we go. So he traded 90k food. And Volti still haven't traded. I guess he's waiting for the 90k and then he wants to trade. But Volti got 25k wood almost. They've got 27k wood. So, Actually, what does Volti send now? Because obviously what? Ziv has sent Cap Combat. Wait. Um, Actually, did Ziv send Cap Combat? Yeah. Why? So, like, what does Volti send? I feel like Cap Combat is not a card that you want to send now. Unless he's a uh, gendarme starting or some weird shit. I mean, do you want to do that against a full overpop musket? No. They have 40% the 40, 40 melee resist. They cannot do anything to them. No, but they could tank for Grenadiers to fuck shit up. They Maybe. could, but you might as well just make halves to defend your horse art. But that's the thing, like... I don't know, maybe like sending team range infantry would have been better. Because that would buff the Grenadiers and also your initial Musketeers. So that- oh, there we go. Seems like Ziv is actually going for Halves. That's so what. Ziv is- Ziv is actually sending his, uh, H4 artillery. Yeah, uh, artillery card as well. And engineering score. Yeah. I feel like that's kinda needed for this situation. It will be very good. Volti, however, why is Volti sending engineering school before 40? Like, what? Why? What's wrong? Like, you have 71 population of native units, and you send engineering school. Maybe he's stream sniping Ziv. Bro, like it doesn't even make sense to do that. You can send range infantry attack. You can send native combat. Does he making gendarmes? Not that many. How many does he have? 10, 15. Okay, 15 gendarmes. Even cap combat would, would have been better. Like just think about it this way. How does engineering school benefit you on the start? Even if you build your foundry right away and start training artillery right away, it wouldn't still benefit you. Civ starting with um, eight horse art. I mean, that's what I was also saying. What did they say? Seven? I assume that he's yeah. going to leave a few in the base. Maybe. Mm. Could be. Could be. Wait. Volti did not make a single mortar, actually. No, he's got two calves. Two calves, 67 halves, 15 gendar. I mean, the halve is good, but definitely he didn't scout Ziv, I suppose. I mean, he didn't see, obviously. Wait, so has Volti actually predicted, oh, Ziv's going to leave some horse art in the base, I'm going to make two calls for it? I mean, he knows that Ziv's going to make the horse art anyway, because that's what you should do against 71 musketeers, but... Yeah. The point is, why are those there, and why is there no mortar if he's going for middle and he wants to siege? That's, that's the thing I'm... Concerned Maybe he about. doesn't want to though. Maybe he just wants to control the map, like I said. You know. We secure the trade posts, chill. I mean even if you want to do that, then making full halves at the start would it make sense. Ah, there we go. Muskets going to the natives. Bulls are going as well. Uh let's see if Ziv sees that. Ziv do have a few grenadiers outside. Volti does not have a single thing outside. He's just going a full all-in into the natives. 
By the way, I think um, we should DQ Ziv because he's got a native scout slightly past the half map. Yeah. Okay, Ziv, GG, easy, DQ. Ulti wins. Which one are you talking about, actually? Uh, he's just moved it. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, no DQ, Ziv. It's fine. He heard me. Yeah. Alright. There we go. The fight is starting. The... Halves are pushing in. I think Volti gonna panic and just pull back instantly. As soon as you see the horse sword and the scares. Oh Never mind, god. he's going for his suicide. Oh god, that's a nice way to suicide unit. Oh god. Those halves actually got wasted. Holy. Yeah, Ziv. Ziv's winning. Okay. Okay, that, that got wasted. Oh, that was brutal to watch. Jesus. Oh god. Oh god. Did Ziv lose a single horse art? He lost one. Did he? Yeah. Okay. Shit. Okay, Ziv is building outside now. He's hunting oh my, those, he's, uh, Yeah, he's hostages. chasing them. <laughs> oh my god. god. If he gets a shot, that would be fucking good. Oh. Okay, now the gendarme's gonna chase after them. Run! Run I wonder for if you actually life. make a healer, whether that's value. I mean, that many units, healer wouldn't be that bad, actually. But then, ideally, you don't want to. Ziv have... How many pop is this? Ziv got 16 pop outside on the grenadiers. Oh my god, not really Ziv. doing anything. The horse oh my god, the horse art. Alive. The horse art. Oh, oh that splash. Now. Are they? Okay, now they're dying. He no, did a loop around there. Cliff, it's hilarious. Actually, still got two alive. Volti have not made a single artillery considering he have engineering school. That's what I was talking about. Waste of card to send at 40. Ziv is actually trying to control next to Volti's base. Yeah, and those muskets by Volti are just, I would say, being wasted. He's not really They're achieving not really anything. Off. No. Yeah, yeah, he's just running around with them. I mean, what you might say is he's just like denying the villagers or anything that is coming to the middle, but it's not really. Back to the natives. The pressure is still on. And Ziv is just trying to maintain the spot. Because he slowly wants to get rid of those urban musketeers. As soon as he gets rid of those, he will be in a good spot. And he can just focus on whatever he wants to do. And on the map. It's going to take a lot though, man. Because like... Volti still has 57 of those units. Like, you have to commit a little bit more than five skirms to kill them, you know? I feel They're just like, going to be annoying for so long. I feel like Ziv is actually doing a good thing because he's not over committing on them. If there was like two mortars with them, yeah, you had to deal with them because else you, they would just siege in and get in. But... Considering there is nothing to back them up, like, you can just trickle some scams, slowly kill them, and at the same time do whatever you want to do. Because they yeah, do not really have a high siege, like, that's 47 siege. For an Imperial unit, that's, like, n not much. And back to the main fight. Volt is finally making some artillery, trying to make use of that engineering school. The grenadiers are still alive by Ziv. Still causing some chaos in the corner. I actually denied this amount of buildings. And uh, look like that will be the end of them. The gendarmes will be dealing with them. Ziv got a good setup in the natives. Quad outpost. In a, I would say, trapping position. 
So he can easily try to pull Volti into his outpost and then just try to fight inside the outpost. Ziv is doing... Actually, no, he's not. Never mind. I was going to say he's doing better resource-wise, but he's actually... He was not max pop. I mean, oh, no, he, he is, is doing better resource-wise. No, he is doing... No, he is, yeah. Volti is struggling on food and wood, actually. I wonder why. Is that just, like, bad native use? Not bad, I feel but, like, like maybe he overcommit too many gendarmes. Probably. Maybe. And also, like, threw a lot of gnats while he was just trying to focus on the muskets. He's, he's pressing middle oh, now. There though. we go. Oh. Finally, one mortar to back them up. He's cleaned up the map as well. Um, yep. Finally, that one mortar is coming there to back them up. There's a heavy push in that by Ziv though. He's got five calves, five horse art. Yeah. That's a good push, definitely. But at the same time, that's a heavy push in the middle. Three mortars and Jean Dunn yeah. and the Bourbon muskets. Oh. That looks scary. Wait. Actually. I don't think Ziv is noticing the. Okay, never mind. He, he did. Uh oh. Oh, Ziv is feeling the pressure. That's the only thing, though. Like, unless you get rid of these native units, then committing artillery to the native fight is kind of a ballsy thing to yeah, do, right? Yeah. Because you, you just have hardly any pop to deal with the defense. Yeah. So. If Volti used, like, two mortars on the start and just pushed in slowly on the outer side of the map with those muskets and maybe, like, five gendarmes, probably he could get, like, the best value out of that. He could just make so much pressure and then, at the same time, maybe could potentially push into the natives. Because Ziv would definitely have to do something about it. Like, you can't leave muskets and mortar pushing into your base. And it looks like Ziv is actually slow pushing into the natives at the same time holding the middle. The mortars are denied. There is only 23 bourbon musketeers left. All of them are almost in low HP. So, I would say Ziv kind of executed that. Nicely. Only one native post is... Actually, it's not even captured yet. Volti pressed the shift click and I think he forgot to get it. And he's going for Volti the middle one. has a small one. window now to push, I feel like. Yeah, he definitely do have the small window. Uh, let's see if Ziv actually noticed the motor again. He... Does not. Oh, there we go. He sells the mortar. Okay, the mortar gonna get denied with the horse art, probably. It's just a massive skirm fight in the natives. Not really a heavy pressure going on. Okay, there we go. Both mortars are denied. That was another waste of res, I would say, by Volti. One thing Volti have the advantage is this wall that he placed here. Yeah, if it's... you can finish it, if you can take that corner, I feel like that, if he, he has to go, I feel like he needs to spit at the very bottom, not the middle. I mean, I'm not sure why he's not trying to press into this spot. He knows that Ziv does not have that many buildings there. Well, it's just about the, the travel distance for the units that Ziv makes, right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You want it as far away from the Nats as possible, I feel like. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So, maybe that's what he's planning to do oh, now. There we go. He's building another stable to back up middle. Another... And also a native embassy also for the middle. No foundry yet in the natives. Sorry, in the middle. 
Walti got two of the trading posts as if he's trying to build the one next to the cliff. Walti is actually dropping in score quite hard. Food is dropping like water. What the? Yeah, he does have Yes! Two Let's go! H2 bikes in action! <laughs> Who made those? Ziv. I think <laughs> he just panic click. Oh god. We got four H2 pikes. They will be the MVP this game. Just watch. They're gonna siege a factory. The pressure Wait, is. Isn't this a, a sick again. time to start splitting? When you see these many holes, you know what I mean? Like, that's my window. I can start Yeah, going yeah, definitely. Now. And that's like, what, four coals, three horse are. Yeah. Definitely splittable. This I mean, is kind of close, man. Like, Valti's food is sketchy, but he's had sketchy yeah, food. Yeah, like, I the feel like game. he's, like, <laughs> throwing too many natives. That's why his food is melting like butter. But then at the same time, he's having more coin because he's making less artillery, obviously, compared to Ziv. This could um, go either way, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, still, the still is not decided yet. It's very close. We still do not know what's gonna happen. The Bourbons are still alive, 13 of them, but I mean, at least they're still alive. Three mortars in the middle, but he should put them into siege. Oh my god, like if he doesn't he know that he even sees this man, like he knows there's only one set of military building there. He scouted like recently again. I don't know why he's not pushing into the middle. Like all he need to do, like triple wall into the native. Slowly push back into his tower and then just go all in into the middle. Yeah, he's just trying to balance out defending that. Yeah. I feel like. Like Ziv is just, just doing just enough, like trickling few units to deal with the push. Like not overcommitting. This that's the whole idea about denying a push. He's a pro. Sorry, uh, denying a split. Oh, oh, the gendarmes are finally finding their path in. Oh, Ziv is kind of panicking now. Oh, oh yeah. Little hole. Is that village to die? No, 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 no. He's running away. Oh, uh, oh, uh, okay. Okay, the mortar is down. There we go. It's a slow... On the Voltis push, Voltis making double pull in the natives, chewing double gendarme from the shipman. Wonder why. Zip would... is so chill, man. Yeah, he's just like... as I've said, he's just not overcommitting. That's it, like trickling few units, and that's enough. I feel like most people would panic in this situation and yeah. overmake you. Know, yeah, Ziv definitely. Just knows exactly what to do. Hashtag fangirl. You waste APM. I mean, to be fair, I would say if Volti tried to push and focus more into the native he would have probably done a better job i don't know it's not gonna take a lot to put he just needs to find yeah, like, the top to push yeah somehow. that's what i'm saying he's just not getting what needs to be done like he's not throwing that final touch on it like, Ziv is actually, would actually be in trouble if he loses any of his military. Like, any of those buildings goes Yeah, down. like, that's what I'm saying. It's just three building defending. That's it. And he knows it. 
Like, e even if you just walk in with few halves and snipe the buildings, that would be enough. I mean, the, the gap is widening in the middle. As it, if it's not rewalled in the last sort of few Yeah, years. it happened. So... They've got one mortar in the middle, trying to... I think the mortar is kind of getting wasted. Oh, there we go. Few gendarmes going there. Those units will be in trouble now. So he's trying to rebuild the wall. Back to the native. Walt is trying to maintain the pressure into the natives again. Ziv is on 12k coin, but he's already transitioning into coin. The I don't know. I feel like coin Ziv, is upgraded. Uh, Volti has like a lot of options right now. Yeah, he does, uh, but at the same time, he cannot really go heavy because of his food. No. Like, he throw like two batch of unit and he's drained. Like, literally two batch of unit and he's drained. It's gonna come down to the wire, but I feel like the more options you have when you're both low eco, yeah. obviously the better. Is... The game is in Volti's hands, you know. Yeah. Ziv is going back to his favorite spot. Holy I call shit, this. Ziv drops a lot of coin. Sorry. Yeah. I call this the trap point. Ziv just sit inside his towers with his range in it, with the gap. So he's sitting there, nice and slow. Trying to deny the trade post, I think it will go down. One more hit. Okay, that, that will go down. Oh my god, why didn't he siege? He could siege it down. Why did he leave? Okay, one more Turk going in by Volte. Into the natives. I'm not sure why he made a mortar considering he sees that many cover in there. The mortar not gonna do anything. The Volt is dropping in coin and he haven't switched yet. Does he have all the cards? He does, but probably do have all the picks as well. I think Ziv, Ziv finally got sick of defending middle and he's like, right, I have to deal with this. Yeah. I need to get him out of here. Ziv got a good sustain actually right now. He's like totally balanced. He does, uh -oh. I mean, Volti has more shipments, but, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Volti do have more wood as well. I think it's kind of because of the trade post. But he's making a very bad trade in the natives. Those infantry are getting splashed with the horse art. Ziv is slowly trying to deny the trade post. Thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. We are here on the final game of the Flash tournament. Oh, really good Jandam placement by Volti in the Nats. Are you ahead, sir? On the horse did, you, did you spoil it, sir? Oh, shit. Yes, he did. But, I mean, the middle is finally denied by Ziv. And... I think he's, like... Throwing a lot of melee units there. And Ziv... Uh, and Volti is actually struggling against it. Ziv is still struggling on wood. He's been struggling with wood the entire yeah, game. Yeah. Considering he got, like, 10 vills on wood, he's still struggling. Oh man, Volti's low pop. Yep, and he's low coin. And he's just spend uh -oh. spending shipments in queue. That's 24 population in the shipment. Uh oh. Why is he queuing two at the same time? Like. Because he can't max pop, I guess. Uh, and yeah, but still, like, making goon is better than. Queuing 12 pop in the queue for nothing. 
At least you can just go range and play it safe and play it slow. I mean, he's doing a good job trying to hold the trade post, but he's finally being denied, I suppose. They haven't sent a uh, gendarme shipment yet. We got five shipments to send. The middle base is completely denied. Ziv should just definitely use those range units in the fight and try to siege with the melee units. They have more siege and every single pop matters at this stage of the game. Because even if you have like one or two range units or one or two gendarme extra into the fight, they will matter a lot. Oh, Volti's made a little bit of a comeback on that, though. He's taken out. Yeah, definitely. A lot of artillery. Uh, I feel like Ziv sure. kind of overextended into the natives. That's why he's getting that pressure into him. Literally, like, the scores are neck and neck, dude. Yeah, like it just keep goes up and down. But it is finally denied. The middle base is completely dealt with. Two gendarmes in the middle by Ziv. The walls are not still being built. So the base is still open, actually. Dude, Ziv is so good at um, controlling trade posts. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Ziv base is actually open. Like, you can send Volvideers and they will just enter the base. That's totally ratable. This is just going to turn into a micro nap fight, isn't it? I feel like. Potentially. Who wins that? They're so even. Uh, me mechanically. Mechanically, these two uh, players. Good. Another trade post for himself. Ooh, Ziv is actually dropping in score now. I feel like right now Ziv should not throw any melee unit into the towers and scare mass. Because he's not really in a good spot, so he should just try to play it safe. Meanwhile, he got one trade post. I'm not sure if he is gonna build another, but we'll see. Six coals are coming in. One more tart, four horse art by Ziv, considering he got the artillery attack, he will definitely make better trades compared to Volti. That was such a good gendarme flank by Volti again, dude. He finds these little windows that he can get yeah. to Ziv's artillery. One thing I'm not getting is why Ziv is not making a flank wall for himself. Like, he's getting flanked constantly with those genres from the outpost and like all he need to do is make like one layer of wall here one layer of wall here that, that will be it i think he's opted into taking out the outpost instead yeah i guess he's just trying to deny the outpost rather than doing that oh my god this is so close what the fuck uh oh volty struggling on food volty get 48 wills on Point. Damn. And meanwhile, Ziv's coin is dropping, but he got eight, ten Kulvren. Bro, that's the Ziv gameplay you want to see. His the keyboard must be going nuts right now. Can you imagine the sounds it's making? The ten, the ten Kulv gameplay. Yeah, you know he move up his screen with his keyboard also. I know, yeah. yeah. So it's just constant keyboard, like, do -do 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 like machine gun. Meanwhile, Walt is trying to siege some walls with the Huminkas. Actually, that's a good thing he's doing. Oh my god, only if he knew that the base is open and it can be ratted. Those units are actually kind of getting wasted there. I mean, it's better than wasting them into scams on Horsard, but... They, oh Zip's my god! Zip's low on coin, dude. 
this this cove trade right now is going to be pretty big. Ooh, Walty actually did a really good trade on on Ziv. Like Ziv is eight hundred gold, dude. Ziv is hundred gold right now. Oh my gold. god, Walty got so much gold. I think like here is the part where he will just spam artillery to try to win. Not really doing anything there. Ooh, Valti's looking better, man. Yeah, he's looking solid now. As nice I said, gone like gone. on a heads-up fight, he will do very well. But at the same time, Ziv is like if you're thinking about it in a positive way, Ziv is spending a lot of time walking into the fight. So as soon as the units pushing. are down, yeah. He's just, there's just so much downtime on the units to walk forward. Yeah. But obviously, Walti gonna remass faster. Ooh, Walti is out of wood. Ziv is out of wood as well. Oh my god. And Ziv is also down by six CDBs. That's something you do not want to have. And as we speak, he's remassing them. How many villages is trade post equivalent to? Is it four? Um, so one trade post goes within like one minute. I mean, the upgraded trade post. So, I always thought supremacy players always fall trade posts as four yeah. pages. I don't know. Anyway, it's a lot of ego, especially oh when my you're. Uh... God. B Horsard went down like it was nothing. That was a good volley by Volti. Oh, I just seen that. And a Kolf. Nice. 24 2.4 res per second. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, yeah, oh, Volti's God. had a lot more eco than Ziv with these yeah. two trade posts. Yeah. And having downtime on his villages as well. Or not max villages. No, he's max already. He's on... Oh, now he is, yeah. Uh-oh, Ziv is down on coin. He cannot mass the army completely. What would you rather have? Less coin or less food? Neither. Yeah. <laughs> neither are good options. Yeah, neither are good option. It's like, you, you, you lack either of them, you're just getting fucked either way. You either get overrolled by melee units and cav, or you just get artillery. Oh, this is. I feel like this is the cold fight. Okay, I know. I know. I said that before, but uh, is this it? Zip though? is just so Ooh, low on point. Ooh, damn. That's what seven calls. No, eight calls. Oh god. Oh god. I wanted to get five. Okay, five poles are coming in. The mortar is denied. Volti is actually putting some good pressure oh, now. That was sick by Volti. Actually, considering Volti got the triple trade post and he's leading in score, he's yeah, in a he's, yeah, good copy. spot. Yeah. But you see another thing as well. The same mistake that Ziv is doing, Volti is doing now, is just walking too much to try to push. Yeah, but do you commit more wood to buildings right now? I mean, I mean, can you? You, you like, can't, right? the, the thing is, you can build a barracks here and here. They will be in a safe spot. Like, if you want to push, then you have to. Else you will just... Just look at this. Look how, how yeah, much he dropped. His army's gone. Look at this. He's back to zero food. The same thing happened again. Ziv has like under 1k res total right now. Volti is 2k res. Ziv is one point. Actually, Ziv is 2k as well. No, one point half. This is so even. Thanks for the follow. Hope you're enjoying the stream. It couldn't be any more even, dude. 
Yeah, oh, finally Ziv is dropping those walls. He finally realized, oh, I need wall against Gendarme. Oh, finally. <laughs> there we go, oh, never mind the wall. It's just denied with the splash. Uh-oh, this is not good. Eight calls by Walty, ten calls by Ziv. Let's see who will win. Detroit. Smash it! Did you see what Julian wrote in the chat? Yeah, I saw. Oh god. Oh god. Wait. I would say actually that was a win for Balti. Oh, yeah. Wait, and was it? Is yeah, Balti, it was. Every time I've seen like a, a, a 10v10 cold fight, Balti's come up on top, I feel like. The thing is, he used three hotkeys for calls, so he made three batches. That's why. So he, Wait, he used he, like he has three groups. Yeah, he doesn't like overkill calls. But I think Ziv does two grouping. And then he he uses unbind, doesn't he? Yeah, and he uses unbind. Does Volta yeah. use unbind? I've never. N I mean, when you use Watched triple, it. then obviously you don't need unbinding. Oh, oh, oh god. That was a good flank again. Oh my god, he really need to get rid of those genre flank. Dude, every Ooh. building that goes down for Ziv right now is... Yeah, he's a massive. So punishing. Yeah, he has a hundred... Massive. He has no wood, dude. He cannot rebuild his buildings. Literally, he can't. He has no option. Now Ziv is on the spot that he's filling the pop with the gendarme. He has no res, man. This mortar, as long mm. as it stays alive by uh, Volti, is going to be I huge. don't think so. It's going to do that. There we go. He's dead. Oh, the calls are getting going down by Volti. Now this will be a good trade for Ziv. Come on. Shoot. Shoot. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, he still managed to get a shot. That shitty patting cost Ziv yeah. another call. Okay, now it's the time for Ziv to make horse art. But he's making calls, actually. You see, Volti is constantly making the trade post and keeping it up, and Ziv is constantly sending two halves to kill it. They're both doing that. Yeah, but they're both doing it. Yeah. The Volti's got one halb in his explorer moving bottom now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now sending once here to kill that. Now sending another two halves to siege. So right now, what Ziv is doing with this? Ziv is, is actually slowly coming back. Again, the same thing happened. Volti had the push, he just over push train unit from the initial base. Too much downtime and he dropped in score. Like this thing is just constantly happening. And neither side are really doing anything about it. Dude, they can't make buildings. That's the fucking issue. Yeah. With France and low eco. It's like, Wait, oh I'm gonna have to sacrifice how much my is the outpost. Outpost is 313 wood, holy yeah, shit. Yeah, you can't remake buildings, it's so funny. Uh, stable, Barrax is 250, and Foundry is, I think, 300? 313 as well, yeah. Okay. That's bad. Oh god. You see, here is the part where if either side had the H2 plantation card, they would have won. Like, easily that would have been the winning condition right now. But then, I mean, I mean not, not obviously yeah. every time you will reach to this point. I'm not feeling the impact of the H4 horse art card. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's... You know what I mean? To be, to be honest, like, that's one of the reasons I took it out. Like, on Kovrin, it makes no difference, because you still have two shot Kovrins. And then on horse art, it makes slight difference, I would say, but still not that much. 
But it hasn't been game changing, clearly. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. It hasn't been game game. -changing. I mean, technically, Volti is right now one card down. Yeah. You know, and it hasn't yeah. made really that much of a difference. So. Yeah. What What do you replace that with, though? And you can. What, what do you do? What do you mean the artillery? The, the horse art cards. Yeah. Oh yeah, Not... I I would definitely go for bourbons. Because the thing is, once you have them, you make those juicy uh, goons, and when you reach to a spot where you want to push, you throw those cheap muskets, they are chad as fuck. And yeah, with few gendarmes, you can just push though? very hard. Yeah, yeah, you can. The thing is, you can split push with them as well. Like, they are very strong in it. Ooh, ooh, Ziv is forcing a wall push. Look at that. And another thing, the bourbon goons are so fucking good. Like, did you need goons at this point in the game, though? To be honest, like, goons are definitely a good unit right now because. Oh, I guess in a range. Yeah, fight, in a yeah. range defense yeah, 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 or yeah, range yeah, yeah. offense yeah. is very good. Yeah, yeah. Right. And another good thing is you can put those goons on melee if you need them. They have a really good melee damage. Balti's taking his time. Ten corps versus. Ooh, that was a good trade. Seven. Uh oh. Whoop. Uh oh. Uh oh. He was not prepared. Those two genres are gonna get two calls at least. Is that gonna oh be three? God. Oh my god, three calls! Ah! Okay, never mind. Ziv just lost the attention and APM and therefore lost the goon. But at the same time, he denied two buildings, which is really good at this point. Does he have backup buildings yet? Not just yet. Oof. That is not looking good, actually. No, Zip's turn. Let's all. see if he can push better than uh, Faulty. Yeah, I mean, Zip got the spot, but he does not have wood to build. Faulty got like decent amount of food, actually. He's in a good spot in terms of food. Oh my god, 48 wills on coin on Faulty. And Does he's he still that? struggling. Didn't he have that before? No, I think he switched some from uh, food. That's why his food is like too much. Ooh. What Ooh. is who? What, what is the top three? By yeah, the way, baby, by now? that was a good splash. Uh, I don't know, like, everyone haven't played for so long that it's just yeah, like... True. But, as soon as I throw the next tournament, everything will be shown. I feel like Nick, Ziv, and Faulty are all interchangeable. The Ziv always comes out on top for some reason. Yeah. But they're, when you look at the games, they're so close. Ziv and Nick have been yeah. always like up and down. Yeah. Like they always had that going on. And then obviously we have Goat. Who's that? Goat. You, of course. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, Is this the Doom for Volty? I feel like Ziv is actually putting some good pressure. Like, he's just well, standing still. Like, you, you see those goons and you were talking about, do you need goons? Yeah, yeah. See how yeah, much they see are doing. Yeah. Like, he's just keeping them there. They're yeah. just denying the gendarme shipment easily. See, if you can't use Hamenkas, like Julian says. Yeah. Then, or you shouldn't use them quite so much. Then all you have to do is deal with gendarme, so goons makes a lot of sense, yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, the calls are coming in. Let's see if he gets a good volley. There we go. One and a half shot. There we go. Another cool go down. That was two for two for now. Is that going to be three for three? No. Okay. Three for two. But who cares? Ziv is making more calls. Dude, I'll be back in two minutes. All right. Take your time. Meanwhile, the trade post fight is still going on. Each side are still trying to deny the other side. And right now, Ziv actually got two TPs. So that's really looking good on him. Ziv will be able to get... I mean, he could definitely make two more Force Art. But I guess he just tried to not see it. Alright, alright. Looks like Volt is trying to use those Humincas, finally. Oh god, sending those gendarmes into the Huminka is not really a good idea. And there we go. Back to the middle. Ooh, ooh, god, those gendarmes are getting some good splash there. Splash them out. There are some good splash. I mean, look at those. Another batch of gendarme and all of those will die. That was a good spread. Does it have cool? Four calls are coming in. Volti is training horse art right now. Three horse art by Volti. Oh my god, Ziv should be. Pulling back right now because as soon as those force force are stack, see if we'll be dropping in score. The middle trade post is being denied by Ziff. Neither side are really doing anything about the outer side of the map. Oh, Ooh. I swear, if that halberdier was not there. Probably he wouldn't notice, but I don't know. Maybe maybe he would, but he saw the settler sneaking there. But probably Ziv can do that again because the thing is, this is a complete blind spot for Walti, so Ziv can definitely use that for toward his advantage and just cause some chaos there. I'm not sure if he's gonna do that. How's the wood situation going in the map? Okay, both sides got a decent amount of wood left, so it should be fine. Oh wait, those cairns are for old bolty. For a second, I'm back. I I'm back. Ziv tried to sneak a I'm settler back. in the corner. Hi. Are you still here, Brophy? What the fuck? Yeah, of course he's here. <laughs> yeah, I'm just listening. He's enjoying. Fred, did you, you know, see thinking. this? There is this no. blind spot completely here that Ziv can use. Like, look at this. Oh, uh, the triangle. Volti have, yeah, Volti have no the vision slice. there. Yeah, the pizza yeah. slice. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You know what I was yeah. thinking? Imagine if you were G Galaxy Brain and you literally held your royal musketeers to the yeah. very end of the game like yeah. imagine if volti had 71 musketeers right oh now. oh my god if if he would have them now like legit ziv wouldn't be able to hold it i actually think in games like this where they're so close you just keep it for later <laughs> yeah just keep it to the very like now yeah then... you can but you see, the thing them. is, you still have to invest, what, like, 1k coin into that. I mean, it's a good True. push. It's yeah, a good push. you can do push. it at the start of the game and just leave it in the base. Um, I guess. I guess, yeah. Okay. But then you're down on cards at the start. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting. Mind guess, the like, games. Like, what you can do, use... Like, obviously, you send the card early before going Imperial. But you don't send it again. Yeah. So you just keep it there. 
inside the base. And then you use it later when you reach to a point like this where, where both sides are like very low on score. That will be actually quite nice. Volti still has trade post control. <laughs> oh god. And good looking honey pie. <laughs> oh god. Ooh. Actually Volti yeah, just got the trade post. Oh, Volti whiffed cold volley. Uh, both of these are gonna die. Shitty pathing. No way! Oh my god, why did that cool not make a shot? What the? Decent. Wait, did you say decent? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I hope you didn't fuck it up. No, I meant the cove ghost ah. shot. <laughs> You said the game desync. I was the game's like, over. no <laughs> way, man. Fucking hell. <laughs> I would have been pissed if the game goes out of sync. Imagine if they had to, like, repeat the game. Like, fucking hell. Oh, Ziv has got a nice match. Yeah, he finally got the wall done. He finally got the wall done. That's gonna help him a lot, actually. That will help him a lot. Oh, the TP fight is still happening. There we go. The TP is denied. Oh, Volti is trying to squeeze a foundry in the middle. That's going to be a, an instant mortar queue there. We'll keep that on the track. Actually, oh, Volti got go. the res. Did, did Ropi said he's going? Uh, okay. He said he's got the res. Does oh, he have the res? Okay. He does have the res. Oh yeah, he does have do the res. something. But the problem is, like every unit that you commit at this stage, yeah, the it's just so like split. It's so dangerous for the native yeah. defense. So the thing is, really he confident. only have double outposts here, so that's very dangerous. Like Ziv, actually Ziv also got two. I forgot that his outpost got sieged. Oh, is that? Wait, he only made one more tower. Okay. Game's cool slowing coming down in. slightly. Wouldn't a good use, obviously, like, um, having your Heminkas at the back just in a safe spot in the fight is nice because you can tackle gendarmes when you need them. But could you use Heminkas outside to split instead of these helps? I mean, you could technically. I you mean, could... You could try to even, like, do some sort of, like... Heminka wall push. Yeah, Heminka wall push, and if you see the scams on the wall, you just pull back. And what, what yeah. happens is, like, your opponent is just having at least 5 to 10 scams idle on the wall. So you can just have that 10 extra pop on the other side. Like, the Ziv has 12 coals, man. That's the Ziv gameplay. Let's go. Oh, and Volti. Ooh, that was a good slap. I mean, Volti's only making six coals, dude. He's gonna Ooh. get out traded. Ooh. Oh my god, all those coals died without doing anything. Yeah, Holy too many coals. Oh god. Is this the end? Holy shit, all the coals got slapped. Yeah, it's just. Fuck it, oh it's my 12 Ziv is six, dude. so healthy. Holy shit. Volti's going for a mid push though. To be honest, Ziv can just gendarm halt this. Holy. That's a huge score gap. Wait, I don't I don't know who's actually winning. Is he he's making a mortar for mid? Why does Volti have Oh my god, are these cobs gonna go down? I don't think so. That's a lot of Heminka and Gendarms. Uh-oh, uh-oh, the splash! Okay, Volti another just one. just emptied the bank to kill these coals. With Holy, immediate. oh my god, no food at all. I think that's gonna cost him, actually. Yeah, he went all in on that. 
I mean, he's trying to push into the middle. Oh god, he got 12 pop in Q. <laughs> oh, Ziv is so healthy though. Yeah, I'm wondering if this was a bad decision to split. Yeah, he was like... He's lost his concentration on that. Yeah, he did, yeah. Oh, Ziv is finally making forward stable. Thank god. Yeah, About Ziv's time. Four Mortar coming in by Ziv. Oh my god, he knows that Volti is struggling. Yeah. He's such a pro, dude. Like, you see, the thing is, at this point, where you have enough calls, throwing those uh, Mortars will just do so much. As long as, you obviously, you have backup units to just not get calved. Volti like, does have the wood, but he's got no other rest. So, ooh, five mortar in the middle by Volti. Mortar he's hold. Going, he's going for the throat, dude. Who wins this? I don't know. Is he trading gnats for the base? I think he's I... trading gnats for base. Um, the thing he's is, he's going for Zib's base instead of like the thing gnats. is, there is two inner layer. The factory is in a good spot. What? It could, it could work though. Ziv has a huge Oh my god, he has no ba no military buildings. It Ziv could does work. not. Oh my god, Ziv does not even have the yeah the market to trade gold for anything. Oh my god, dude, this is. I don't okay. know. Volti might take this game, dude. Oh no, the calls come out. Wait, if if Ziv gets the native, he will be fine. Because he can train he, the natives inside the eco. He, he got the native. He have embassy. a lot of res to do four natives. No, though. I mean, he doesn't need to make four. Just few. Just few, just enough. Oh my god. Mm. Volti's literally spammed the halbs on Donkey. Uh oh. Oh shit. Wait. Volti does not have anything in the eco. I mean, you got, you got some buildings, actually. But not too much. Hold natives are denied, so all Ziv have to do right now is defend the base. Hold the line! Hold the door! Is Ziv making... He's not got a call there. I'm Hold just wondering the how, door. He... how he's gonna kill this mortar. He's... <laughs> Ziv is literally holding the door. <laughs> uh, fun fact, Fed does not know what is hold the door. Sad for no, him. Yeah, the... That's why you should watch Game of Thrones. What is that, an ancient meme? No. It's it's a Game of Thrones stuff. Oh, Ziv is responding well. Oh, though. Sim, like, Ziv managed to hold the door. Wait, Ziv held the door. There we go. Oh, look at those blank coverings shooting gendarmes, like... Ah, uh, it's... Nah, it's over. Okay, that's GG. I don't agree. see. I don't see any comeback out of this. Actually, there's no mortar. You couldn't break into the eco. So, is Ziv making anything? No military GG base in there. Three, yet. two. Actually, not yet. Ziv's got four mortars tapping away. Yeah, at four mortars there, well. and oh god, wait, there is a melee push going on. But the thing is. Volti cannot recover natives right now. No wood, no coin. Oh my god, wait, no coin. Okay, that's GG. Zip that's... has nothing either, but... I mean, he got oh, he's... two natives. <laughs> he's got native, I mean, he's got military. And Zip's actually in the eco now, so... Oh yeah. Oh god, rip those souls. Rip those city bees. How many did he get? Like, I think he got like two or three city bees. Volti's 115 pop. You see, as soon as those Huminkas get in there, this Terry Huminka, once they reach into the eco, it's over. There's nothing you can do. You can't just yeah, rush the factory, that's it. Yeah, but the thing is, like, Ziv is max pop. Even though his res is shit, like, Volti has. Yeah, that's what so I'm saying. Max pop. He can't do anything about it, like. You see, look at those Huminkas, they just walk in, they can't do anything. He's going straight for the factory, I think. So many halves! I've never seen this many halves! Ah, uh, yeah. 
He's going through the factory. Sieging slowly. Actually, you see, even though they're not gonna deny the factory, but still the scams there's like too much pop there by Volti. Like look at that. 17, 5, 4, and 12. Oh my god, that's so much pop. That's so much pop there. Like Ziv just need like four coves and three mortar and this is GG. And What's he also needs like? to like get rid of those. His res is fine, he got one TP. Wait, Ziv is down on Vils actually. Wait, what? Yeah. 69, nice. Oh, he had bills here and he had bills there. 79 bills. More pop. Volti has such a small window now, though. You see, that the problem is Volti is also on 73 bills, so it doesn't really matter. Volti cannot make a single unit, no coin. Ziv is fully popped. Oh my god, four mortars coming in. There yeah, but CG. now, like, the bowler, the bowler warriors are just amazing. Yeah, killing bowlers is a nightmare. It's gonna take Volti. I mean, he has yeah. to have horse art. Really horse art or Jean Arm, yeah. Like, goons and skirms are not gonna... Yeah. They're just tanky as hell. Put it into Ziv's, yeah. Army. The thing is, those bolos actually slap the goons as well, so that's another thing. Oh god. Oh god. There we go. Is this it? I think this is it. It's kind of... There is nothing else happening inside the map. Volti is just trying to throw his explorer somewhere. Where is he going? Oh, he just wants to take the trade post. Right? Okay, GG. There we go. Finally, the first game of this series is finished. 1-0 to Ziv. And Dude, that, that was, was a, a good bonkers game. game. Yeah, that was a good game. That was a really, that was a really fucking high level game. Jesus. Oh my god, look at Ziv trade, actually. That was a good trade. 69k combat. Oof, 69. Nice. Yeah. And booming wise, both of them boom, well, more or less the same. Let's see, pop wise, military unit sound. So close. You see, just look at the military unit count. Like, that's your advantage. Like, he had more population for okay let's say this point so he had more population for 17 minutes so he should have done something about it yeah like 17 minutes in a 1v1 is a lot inca drain in 10 minutes <laughs> oh god Rip have you seen inca. the stats yeah i checked already the, was... the eco and the units, the buildings, they're so close. Yeah. The amount that each person spent. It's crazy. Three units. Volti... Wait, yeah, how come see... Volti sent more gendarmes? But you can... Yeah, Volti sent more gendarmes, Ziv sent more. I mean, and also, Volti got more res from the um, trade post, I suppose. Like five I think it's Volti sieged so much more than Ziv. Like, he was the aggressor of the entire game, dude. Yeah. I feel like the issue that the game got, like, this long for both sides was this cliff fight. Like, neither had a close base, and they could not afford it, so there was just so much back and forth until one side do the mistake and train. Maybe the horse are What's the difference at the end there? I don't know. It's really hard to say. No, actually, the the cool mortar push did the job for Ziv. Yeah, that's the thing. Is you can see Ziv timed his mortar push yeah. so well. 
It was just perfect. Like, he had enough balls. He just denied a full bat, and then he just made four mortar, and then yeah. that was it. Who's the other caster? It's Fetty Wap. Are people forgetting who I am now? I haven't streamed. This, this people is playing Supremacy. That's why. Oh, they're Supremacy players. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's get into game two, chat. Oh, God. 